We are recording now, and this audio recording will be broadcast and electronically manipulated by Vertical Internet Radio. And is that something that you give us permission to do with this audio file? Yes. Thank you. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, on this health suppliers segment of the program. You know, there's some very important news that I've got to share about one of the major complications associated with type 2 diabetes. Now, a lot of people may not know that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death for people with type 2 diabetes, responsible for about two out of every three deaths in the United States. Now, the U.S. FDA recently approved a treatment that can help folks uh, reduce the risk of cardiovascular uh, death in adults with type 2 diabetes. And here to talk about this new approval is Dr. Christopher Cannon, Cardiovascular Division of Brigham and Women's Hospital and also Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Welcome to Health Professional Radio today, Dr. Cannon. Well, thank you very much for having me. Thank you, thank you. Now, um, tell us a bit about yourself, uh, uh, other than uh, what I've already said. What, um, what prompted you to become interested in, um, in cardiovascular issues? Well, uh, I, I'm a cardiologist, and I've been for a little over 25 years. Um, I, uh, my father was a cardiologist as well, so I suppose I've been interested in, in preventing heart attacks has been my area of, of focus. I think we as cardiologists have had a growing focus on type 2 diabetes because these are patients who become our patients with cardiovascular disease. And so a, a growing epidemic that unfortunately has very serious consequences. Um, so the development of cardiovascular disease ends up being really the, the major complication in diabetes. Unfortunately, there are many complications in diabetes, but certainly one that, that is a key focus for us. What has been the, uh, the, the old, I guess, standard treatment for someone uh, that has cardiovascular issues and type 2 diabetes? Well, you know, treating diabetes, has, we have 12 or more classes of drugs that have been approved and, and are in use for lowering the glucose. And quite surprisingly, study after study has failed to show improvements in the risk of dying or heart attack or stroke when using more intensive lowering of, of the glucose with the, uh, you know, older classes of drugs. And so... This is an ongoing problem because, as you mentioned, of, of diabetics who die, two out of three of them die from cardiovascular disease. And so all of these treatments really have not been sufficient in trying and improving the outcomes uh, for our patients. Talk about this new uh, development. Well, it's very exciting. I think the FDA has granted an approval uh, for a new indication for use. This is for a, a drug called empagliflozin or Jardians, where its new indication is to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death among patients with type 2 diabetes and known cardiovascular disease. So this is a first. There are no other diabetes treatments that have this as an indication from the FDA, in part from the research we just mentioned that has failed to show that. And so this... Uh, agent was seen to reduce the, the risk of cardiovascular death, and so a really exciting development that the FDA has now put into the um, package information. Now, in addition to the, you know, the obvious research findings that supported the, uh, the approval, did the findings mention anything about uh, different types of uh, age or gender issues that may um, affect the effectiveness of this new drug? Well, interestingly, this was something that that applied to all the different subgroups of, of patients within the study. So the approval was uh, based on a, on a study of about 7,000 or so uh, patients who had type 2 diabetes and known cardiovascular disease. All of them were receiving their standard therapies, and then some of them were given empagliflozin on top. Mm -hmm. And so what was seen was a reduction in uh, cardiovascular death, MI, or stroke, or heart attack or stroke. And then the FDA called particular attention to a 38% reduction in cardiovascular death. 
as you just asked, this was seen whether patients it was women or men or by race or, or mm -hmm. age category in the study. And so really amongst those patients with known disease, it, it really applied across the board. Now, are there uh, any avenues where we can go and, and learn more about this uh, new FDA approval? And uh, as we wrap up, could you talk a bit about um, maybe some unexpected beneficial side effects that, that often happens when um, drugs go through research, uh, some things that we didn't count on sometimes happen? Is there anything uh, like that as far as this brand new approval is concerned? Well, the surprises are that this actually reduced cardiovascular death because for decades we have not seen it, and so this is a wonderful development. Um, it becomes a call to action for us as doctors to really relook at how we're managing our patients with diabetes and cardiovascular disease and say, is this an appropriate uh, new therapy to add in? and to look at all the therapies, take this as a, as a moment to say, wait, let's just double check if the overall regimen, because this fits into the overall treatment where you'd be controlling blood pressure and cholesterol and, and other risk factors. Uh, and so a, a really wonderful new era where we're shifting from worrying about what the blood sugar level is to trying to improve the outcomes for patients, and a great new era. And where can our listeners go and learn more? Well, I think there are information. The FDA website is there. The, the study was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The, the medication, uh, the website there is, it also has uh, Jardiance.com has the information that led to the, the approval. Um, but I think the, the best is really to talk about it with your doctors or the patients, either the primary care doctor um, or cardiologist, to see how does this fit into their overall treatment program. Well, thank you. Well, I sure thank you for coming in this, uh, today, doctor. Well, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio for this health supplier segment. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in studio with Dr. Christopher Cannon, cardiovascular division of Brigham and Women's Hospital and also professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm, and you can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes.